guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what we're going to be covering is certain procedure blocks. Uh, this is going to be a new type of tutorial that I'm going to be doing um, alternate days between um, uh, procedure blocks and uh, basically element settings. So we're going to alternate that on Tuesdays now and uh, Fridays will be um, basically for the regular tutorials for new content and updating older content. So uh, definitely tune in for those as well for more advanced type of stuff. So what we're gonna be covering today is uh, basically to get started because there is a lot of uh, coordinate based things. A lot of people will probably already know how to use these, but it's good just to get it out of the way for people that don't. So, um, now, if you're not familiar with Minecraft or haven't played Minecraft too much, you might not know that there is coordinate-based things in the Minecraft world. So, if we open up the F3 screen, uh, as you can see at the top corner, I'll highlight it uh, so you guys can see what um, I'm talking about. But there is a um, basically X, Y, and Z uh, variables at the second paragraph on the left hand side at the very top it's basically listing where we're standing at our very location uh, you can also a little bit further down towards the last of the uh, that particular um, section there is one where we're actually looking at a block so there are basically variables that keep track of where the coordinates are those are the variables for those are called x y and z so uh, those we can use also in procedure blocks to test for other locations. Now, uh, one of the things that I've set up is just a quick example of how to run a test command. And this is just a basic command that we're gonna be using for testing the coordinates. But I've basically set it up so we're outputting our coordinate location. So as you can see here, I have some string text uh, saying that um, your location and then the X, Y, and Z part are all strings where the number parts including the negative um, number is the uh, actual X, Y, and Z um, coordinates where we're standing. So if I were to open up the F3 screen as you can see, well a little bit off, let's uh, test. Uh, it says 175. We're close enough to 175. Um, 73 and then 770. So yeah, that's exactly where we're standing pretty much. Uh, it's the only reason why the other number is um, not exact is because we're standing right on the middle part of uh, basically where the blocks connect so as you can see there's like a line right here so that's the reason why it's a little bit off now I have another thing that I have set up where if we stand right on this block here uh, this is exact coordinates to where we need to be standing give or take uh, let's find the exact one right here and if we run okay that's not correct this one again all right so if we run this uh, as you can see it says a different output a uh, basically test for exact coordinates of where uh, the player is standing so I'll show you how to do all that in a procedure block so let's get back into M Crater and I'll show you how it all works so to find your X, Y, and Z coordinates, what you want to do is go to your Minecraft components in your procedure editor. And then somewhere in here, most likely they'll still be at the top, is your X, Y, and Z uh, procedure blocks. So there's a few different ways you can basically do it. I've basically outputted a couple different examples here to show you how to use them. Uh, here I've basically used them to test for a very specific location. Um, this basically tests if the X coordinate is equal to uh, negative 171. If true, then it's going to also test if it's uh, your Y coordinate is 73. This is a positive number. And 
If that's also true, then it's also going to test for uh, if the Z coordinate is equal to 783. And if that's true, then it's going to run a uh, your actual event. So in our case, I've just outputted some text. So over here uh, at the top here, when we're actually testing for any coordinate that is in this location, uh, what I've done is I've basically sent a message or printed a text to the player. I've created a text, um, basically a text uh, group uh, that we could add extra text boxes and add different uh, components. So I've added a couple strings just to indicate where the what we're looking at, and then I've placed the coordinates directly onto the uh, the item for the create text um, uh, connection points. So basically, that's just outputting the exact lo location that we're looking at or standing at. So hopefully this uh, guys, this uh, helped you guys a little bit um, with figuring out your coordinates if you weren't familiar with it already. Uh, next, I think what we'll do is look at um, testing for items and uh, what item blocks and stuff like that, or you know, like these two elements will do. Uh, these are really important elements to test for other things as well, so we can use those to test for a couple things and I'll show you how those work in the next tutorial. Um, now, because we're doing alternate days, uh, the next tutorial will be covering how to do, uh, how certain mechanics work in, or settings work in a type of an element. So it won't be procedure based, uh, just giving you the heads up on that. But the following week will be um, a proce procedure based tutorial. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and rate the video, and click the silver bell to stay notified, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.